Hello, y'all. Everyone, today I got the last ornament to complete the Hallmark's 2021 Lionel range. And as you can see already, it's a miniature version of the Lionel Texas Special. If I could just bring it up. Oh. Let me just bring it to you in an observation car. There. Now before we unbox this, let me just tell you the history of the Lionel Texas Special. Because like, people know these are like, Hall, these are like Hallmark ornaments, and people do and people do know that these are under the line on line. But some people don't know the significance of these of the engines Hallmark make for the line range. So let me just tell you a history about the line L Texas special. This information is provided by. The Lionel Library. I'll post a, I'll post a link in the description down below. The 2245 Texas Special F3AB unit of the mid 1950s is another set of F3 diesels produced by Lionel. Of course, the unit is notable for to be produced with a single motor. Even even with a single motor and magnet traction, it is a powerful locomotive. Lionel cataloged the Texas Special F3 as an 027 gauge item and heads up to sets in 1954 and one in 1955. The 2245 is an unusual in that it was produced for only two years, but there are three distinct versions over the two year production cycle. Right, enough stalling, let's unbox this. What we got here? We went back to the paper wrapping. And we have the leading unit. Oh, it has a black cow catcher. That's interesting. This feel a bit more silky or smoother and smaller. Let me get the southern. Yeah, it does appear more smaller compared to the southern freight set well, freight engine. A T gauge modelers out there. If you need a F unit body, I think Hallmark got you covered. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Though it does, on camera, it makes it look like a uh, cheap resin or rubbery ornament, well, from the main red body. But then again, it's kind of due to the camera lighting. Uh, one more look at the roof. Kind of interesting that they went the extra effort in painting in the little vents when they did it on the southern engine. But then again, this is a smaller model, and that if the vents were weren't molded in, so that part explains it. So yeah, that's the Texas special. It looks really small. I'm gonna put it with it another. Right. Oh, we already hit we already reached to the summit observation car and it looks it already looks a bit bigger to the oh wait, never mind. It is longer though, but so yeah, here's the summit observation car. Similar to the Similar to the normal size summit observation car, of course, no, nope. of course smaller, and without silhouettes due to the small size. Has a little Lionel logo. There we go. Pretty nice, pretty nice. How will it look behind the? Oh, 
I think I can sell that. Oh, tipped over the bleeding horn. Come here. There we go, and it looks small. Oh well, it wasn't designed for that. For this engine. And of course for the B unit. Oh yeah, before I go to the B unit, when I was in the store, of course they ha of course if you've been to a Hallmark store, you probably know that what are keepsake ornaments? They're all in like these they all hanging on a wall and like shelves and stuff. That we can examine them before buying it. But um, when I saw the Texas special hanging from one of these I noticed that the B in it, B in it, looks very big. And you think that's just camera magic? Oh, no, 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 no. Let me get the... <laughs> Hallmark. <laughs> I think you got your scaling wrong. This B in it ain't made for this Texas Special. It's made for the Southern Engine. Hell, it looks... Uh... Oh, the hook can't go through. Oh well. Hell, it's too big for the setter engine. I'm re-recording this part of the video because I didn't do a good job on explaining it in the original recording. But um, when I first looked at the image on Hallmark website, I did notice that the B unit was bigger than the A in the observation car. And I thought, oh, that's just to emphasize that this goes in the middle. <clears throat> but, apparently not, as you can see here. It's not only that, I just, while looking over the footage, if the, I noticed that if we could focus, well, you could already see, but like, the cow catcher is actually black. When on the box, it shows that it's red. You yeah, just like to point that out. Now back to the original recording. But no, it is actually bigger than the A unit. Oh, like that the trucks are bigger too. Oh, that was a hair. But, um, yeah, this B unit is too big for the damn little A unit. Oh, that looks cursed. That doesn't look right at all. Not only that, it looks backwards. Well, it is backwards. My goodness, I want to see. I want to go to the person that designed this and tell them and ask them what were they thinking and what were they on. Look at the observation card in this. Oh my god. Some. Oh my god, that doesn't even look right. That doesn't look right at all. I kind of found it funny, though. Oh yeah, of course. Anyway, enough about the size. So let's just look around. It... It just doesn't look right, because it looks long. Longer than the actual A unit. It even looks long when it's not in the shop. Also has painted vents. Oh, they are molded. Wait, are they molded on? No, they're not because they're, it's, they're, it's small. Of course, they got a nice detail on the side, of course. Kind of feels a bit greasy though, both the A unit and the B unit. But then again, I just ate McDonald's before recording this video. Just fries. And I think I did wash my hands. Oh my god, that just looks bad. Hallmark is slowly losing it. 
probably because they're making too many corny Christmas movies. So, um, yeah, that's the... That's the miniature. Well, I couldn't really count the bean as a miniature. Okay, now it's officially a miniature. So, yeah. What's my thoughts about it? The leading unit, the A unit, it looks good. Looks good and all. And it would look, it would be cool. And it could actually work for T gauge modelers. And the summit observation car, it is good too. But it's just one thing that messed all this up. And it is right in the middle. The big massive honking B unit. Hey, right, that's enough making fun of the size of the B unit in the in the miniature Texas special. Anyway, I think that's all for today's video. Right, thank you all for watching and have a good day.